Look at look at this dude's Jeep over here. Did he get these wrapped? I think he did. Damn. So this is Andrew's super clean EM1. Got them three piece CCWs. That's my motor, cause that's what was in here. We got a K swap in here now. He's got a spare K24. I don't remember what, but he's got a K24 block there. So we've got engine, trans. That's his bike, his garage is a mess. This thing hasn't ran in like a year. And then we've got some wiring harness axles. I don't know if those axles are good, but we got wiring harness and a bunch of other stuff. So we're gonna load that up. His friend's truck right there. Show off this bad boy. It's got a, what, I think it's a K20 A3, A2. I don't remember, but this dude's got hella money into this boy. And it still don't run! <laughs> Whoa. This dude's a whole college tuition into his engine bay, and it still don't run. This car's a piece of Man, can you believe he got a whole college tuition and it still don't run? No, oh, man, I can't even afford that car. <laughs> it wasn't my paycheck. Hey, but at least at least we can push it around, right? Oh, no, he can't even push it. He got three wheels on <laughs> He got three-piece wheels, no. and it still don't run. It don't even move. Ain't no steering wheel on it either. <laughs> it's a quick-release Sparco steering wheel, all right? The steering wheel's in the back you seat. You lost it. It's in the back seat. <laughs> The rest of the vehicle back there in the back of the <laughs> <laughs> right. So, at some point, you know, if he decides he wants to get this car running, we'll have content for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, instead of just, you know, trying to fix this car, he's like, F I'm going to go buy a Jeep and a Tesla and just have this Wait, sit here in the garage. I had the Jeep for a long time. <laughs> for like a year, bro. That's a long time for me. I go through cars really quick. You go through cars like you go through women. I didn't say that. I did not say that. Did you get did you get these wrapped in carbon fiber? Or are they plates? It's a plate. Is it actual carbon fiber or is it fake? I don't know. I think it's the actual. It should be. Hmm, you sure? I paid good point. <laughs> Motor loaded, along with a bunch of cardboard that we gotta take to the dumpster real quick. I don't know if I'm gonna go pick up my own. My friend has one, but he's off at college, so I would have to, we'd have to pull his, uh, I think it's a 1.8 T out of a BMW. I don't remember exactly what it is, but we'd have to pull that off, which is gonna be ridiculously heavy. So I don't know if I just wanna cough up, you know, like the $45 to get one, or if we're just gonna go jack his, not sure yet. I'll let you know.
<laughs> so we're here at Damon's. It's dark and it's cold already. And we gotta pull. We gotta pull this big ass BMW straight six piece of fuck out this. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be able to lift this, dude. And then no tires to set it on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So we're probably just going to time lapse this. Alrighty, so we got the engine here, engine stand in my uh, trunk. We're gonna unload those. Oh, hey, check what's back here. Christian. Hey, look what's back here. Fucking beer can. How's it going guys? So it is now the next day. Um, I backed the EK out just so that I've got a little bit more room. We've got the long block head trans, basically everything right there. I do need to assemble the engine stand. Um, but first we need to pull the transmission off the B series. That way we can mount the block to the holder and then put it on the engine stand. So we don't have the bolts for the clutch and flywheel. So I'm going to run and go and grab the um, sockets for that. And then I'll be back. I'm now back from the store. I went and got a set of 12 points so that we can get the clutch and flywheel off. Now we're gonna time lapse that as well. Alrighty, so we got her up on the stand now. Transmissions off, clutch um, and clutch cases off. Whoa. Um, I couldn't get the flywheel, my uh, three fourths inch socket broke and I didn't feel like getting another one so I just mounted her up. She's all good to go. Um, I don't think I'm gonna start pulling her apart and I'm not doing a full rebuild, just full gaskets. Um, and maybe I'll look at getting head studs and new bearings. Yeah, you like my, my lighting setup guys cause it's so unbelievably dark in here. Um, so it is a B16 A3. I thought it was out of an EM1 and that's what I was told. Too, luckily, you know, I didn't pay too much for this. Um, it's a B16 A3 out of a Del Sol VTEC. I don't know if this came in the Del Sol SI, um, but this one did come out of the D Del Sol. Um, so I need to pull this off at some point. We're gonna repaint it. We're probably gonna repaint the entire block. I'm not sure what color yet. I want to find something that matches pretty well with the blue color of my car but also I would like to repaint that black at some point, so I'm not quite sure what color we're gonna do there. This trans is just absolutely covered in oil and gunk, so we're gonna need to clean that off as well. Otherwise, I think I've got basically everything I need to start getting this ready um, and getting prepared for the swap. The only thing I don't have is I need headers still. Um, I need new axles, and I do, it did come with a wiring harness, but I'm not sure how good of condition that wiring harness is. Yeah, you guys like my mess of parts. I've got sway bars, crash bars. Um, I got a rear disc swap from a Integra. Got a bunch of junk in here. Alrighty guys, I think we're gonna end the video there. Thank you all for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, turn that notification bell so you can stay tuned for more B-Series content. Thank you all for watching.